Okay, so here is how we make some changes in the dashboard. Go up to visit your site. Now you'll see up here you can do your editing. So go to the page you're interested in. Let's say you want to go here. And let's say you want to add another person or add something to this site. So go up to Edit Page, hover over it, but don't click right away. Go to Edit with UX Builder and click right there. All right. Now you see on the left there's some things here. We put on the right, we see everything is lighting up. So that means we are on the Edit Page. Be very careful. You want to just slide your cursor until you get to the right place. Now there's two ways to do this. I find the easier way is to use the left side at this point. So here we have Tanya. If you wanted to add something like a convention speaker image, you would come over here, come down to, well the easiest way for right now is click on the image and then click on the gear and then duplicate. Now you have two of them. So we're going to come up Now we're going to look for the people. Here's me. Here's the column. Now you see what's happening. This here is the row. It's two columns in one row. If I click on this top column, this blue highlights over here so you know this is the active screen. If I slide down here, see how the right column lights up blue. Okay, so now that's it. I clicked here. This is blue. I'm going to open this column. You see we have image, button, image, image. Now I go down to Tanya. When I click on Tanya, you see how her row lights up there. So I'm going to unclick her, and the color went away. I click her, and the row turns blue. So now we're going to go down to her column column. See, here is my column column, 8 and a half, 8 over 12 and 4 over 12. And the image is in this column, 4 slash 12. So now we go down to Tanya's column, 4, 4 slash 12. And she has image button, but no image. So she has image button, and that's it. So let's click here and drag it down and put it right under her button. And sure enough, there it is. It's right there. Refresh the page. Now, if you want to add a brand new person here, up Tanya, go down to Andy. It's very simple. You can do this. So this one says Andy. So I'm going to actually change that name because it's Harry. So I click right click options, and I'm going to just say Harry. Harry Paul. And apply. And update. All right, so now Harry Paul's here. Let's say you want it to come right after Tanya. So we'll click on Tanya. Tanya is lit up there in blue. And I'm going to right click on Tanya's row and say duplicate. And now you have two Tanyas. And apply and save and then change all the information. And that's it. All right, so if you want to change a picture, you click on the picture. Click here to change media. It's that simple. Leave everything else the same. Don't touch anything else because it's all standardized. If you want to change the name of the person, you click in here once and click up to the open text editor. And this is, you're familiar with how to make changes like that. Be careful because all the colors and the sizes are the same. 
So if you wanted to know that the color is, if you want to find out this color, then you have to take this out to a program, copy and paste it into a program, and a paint program, and see what color that is. And then if you have another person, you, you type their name in. So you would type it over here, P, and now you have Pete's name in the same color and size. Same thing here, but you can do it right here and create a new name. Just make sure it's in that same gold color. And just leave that expertise there and just change what you need. But change it in this side. It's a lot easier. You click OK. And then after OK, you click Apply. And then after Apply, it would say there's something else like Record or something like that. So this would be a blue button. And that's how you make your changes on the pages. Have fun.